Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I want to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and some of the top expected features of the Note 8. So basically, some things on the Note 8 we're going to get for sure. Things like iris scanner, water resistance, an improved S Pen and all that good stuff. But there's some things we can actually derive from what we know about the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. One of them is the display. So the display on the Note 7, I'm sorry, on the Note 8 is going to be humongous, okay? It's gonna be humongous. It's gonna have, just like the S8 and S8 Plus, a huge screen to body ratio. You're gonna have an edge to edge screen. There's not gonna be a home button, which means the screen can cover that area. And uh, one thing that we are expecting is a 4K display. Now there's a phone out there right now, it's called Sony Xperia 5. It does have a 4K display. So 4K displays are not out of question. So I'm assuming the Note 8 is going to have a 4K display, a large display. It could be as much as 6.5 to 6.7 inches, which is not a bad thing. And of course the improved S Pen is just gonna make it a lot of fun to draw and take notes on this large display. So that's one thing to expect. Large screen, 4K display, and of course, improved Super AMOLED technology that gives you fantastic picture quality. Now, the other thing I'm expecting, which is kind of obvious, and this I'm deriving from the S8, is increased RAM capacity, which is gonna be six gigabytes of RAM on the uh, S8 and S8 Plus. I think that's gonna trickle down to the Note 8 as well. And of course, we're gonna have a processor. Now, the S8 and S8 Plus have the Snapdragon 835 processor or the Exynos Octa uh, 8895. But what I'm thinking is, the Note 8 is going to have a later processor. Now, if you look at the um, Samsung phones last year, you had the S7 and S7 Edge. Uh, they had a Snapdragon 820 processor, and the Note 7 actually got that processor, okay? So instead of getting a stronger processor, it got the same processor that the S7 and S7 Edge had. So we we have to pay, play a guessing game here. It might be that the uh, Note 8 ends up getting the same processors that are packed into the S8 and S8 Plus, or if you're lucky, they may give us an improved processor. But as far as RAM goes, I think six gigabytes of RAM is to be expected on the Note 8. So that's basically uh, my, my thoughts on the Note 8 so far. Now, obviously this phone is gonna be one of the best smartphones in the world. As a matter of fact, I think it's going to be the dates released the best smartphone in the world because of um, you know it retains all the features and characteristics of an S8 Edge phone or S8 Plus and then on top of that you get the added benefit of the S Pen and the software functionality that comes with the S Pen uh, which we know as the Air Command. So let's do a quick summary. We're gonna have an iris scanner. We're gonna have a superior AMOLED display. We might have a 4K display, the highest resolution, which is called 2160p. And of course, the display itself is gonna be very large. We're gonna have a high screen to body ratio, okay? So there's gonna be no home button. That means the screen can cover that. And there might be a built-in fingerprint scanner on the display or on the back of the phone. And finally, obviously, we might get a better processor than the S8 and S8 Plus, and we are gonna get increased RAM, which is going to be six gigabytes. And of course, the highlight of the Note series is the S Pen, so we're gonna get an improved S Pen, maybe a little different design, uh, more sensitivity on the screen, more accuracy, more precision, and uh, we're gonna have an improved Air Command menu. So what you can do with the S Pen, they just, they're just gonna add to the features, to the software functionality. It's gonna be fantastic, okay? So those are my thoughts on the Note 8. If you guys have any thoughts, if you have any good sources, drop a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you love it, or a thumbs down if you hate it. And make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech, and you guys have a fantastic day, all right? And of course, not to forget, as I get more information about the Note 8, I'm gonna be making more videos so you guys can stay up to date with all the information that we have. 
obviously right now all we have is guesswork okay because the phone is quite far ahead it's not like the s8 which is about to just get released and we have some confirmed leaks it's uh, more in the future so we can do some guesswork but our guesswork is not too far from reality okay anyway have a great day guys